Hello, people, and welcome to another edition of yours truly, Josiah Willis. Here they were another reaction. Let's go right ahead and get back to it. Back to some hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Y'all already know what it is. We got my guy, Nick Natoli. Christian Rap, the official music video. Interesting title. I hope it's not offensive. But then again, I already know what to expect. I'm just gonna listen to it, have an open mind, and then, yes, I will give you how I feel in a minute, or give to you <laughs> how I feel. One of the most prolific and consistent rappers I react to on my channel under my name, Josiah Willis. I have heralded this guy as the king of controversy because he has no filter, he's brutally honest, He's political, he's out there, he's wild, he's energetic, he's fun, he's a bunch of different things. And sometimes he does not hold back on what he says, some of the things you, you can agree with, some of the things you can disagree with, but ultimately you're getting truth. And that's why I appreciate at the end of the day about music, is spilling out your truth on a record, on a beat, scratch, you name it. This song came out last month on April 2nd. All right. It's been a minute since I've done my last Nick Natoli reaction. I believe my last reaction to Nick Natoli was Too Woke back in March of last year. Yes, I didn't know that my mom could be a dad, yeah. I didn't know the little mermaid was black, yeah. I didn't know that Dumbledore was a fact, yeah. I didn't know we're allowed to switch the facts, yeah. Mm. Didn't know we're not allowed to get pissed now. Didn't know Buzz Lightyear like new lesbians now. Someone tell me why they're pushing this to kids now. Someone help me tell me what the heck I miss now. I didn't know I can't root for Washington Redskins. Tell me why the mm. Cleveland Browns are in a fan dead. And okay. tell my taste the best I recommend it. Yeah, we're good. And by the way, shout out to my guy, Conservative News, for the request of this song. I thoroughly, thoroughly appreciate it. Okay, now let's get into the proceedings. Ladies and gentlemen, please do me a quick favor, and that is to like, comment, subscribe, and views. Put your minds out there. The link of this song will be down in my description below. This is Nenatolius Christian Rap, the official music video. Produced by him, of course. As he has also directed and edited this visual. No lurker breakdowns. We're just going to give this song a filling out process with me giving you my final thoughts. And yes, you guys, I do have two other YouTube channels. One is called The King Life Podcast alongside my good friend and fellow co-host Anthony Lombardo. And the other is called The Live Outlet. L-Y-V-E space outlet. Don't mind the light. <laughs> alongside my other good friends, Rail, Ebony, BZ, we talk that talk, listen in, and pick up some gems. Enough talking, let's get into this reaction. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, they want to call this Christian rap Cause I'm only spitting facts Gave my life to the Lord I know Satan wanted back This ain't Christian rap But it's holy to the max Freedom from the devil's trap We know Jesus coming back This ain't Christian rap All right. This ain't Christian rap This is something everlasting This that holy dunk Out here feeling like a baptism This a rebirth for the people who are captive This an exorcism for the demons that attack to you this ain't just some song this is more like salvation this is god's playlist for the ones repping satan this is like a movement that's going right through ya this ain't church music but they say hallelujah 
This ain't gang <laughs> rap, but I got that holy trinity. This is more pure. This is something like divinity. This is training like you ready for the ministry. We against everything, especially the industry. This All is right. for the people who like never want to perish. Sounding like a pastor, but this is not a parish. This is for the ones <laughs> who ain't going straight to hell. All in what? Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, they want to call this Christian rap. Cause I'm only spitting facts. Gave my life to the Lord. I know Satan wanted back. This ain't Christian rap. Mm. But it's holy to the max. Freedom from the devil's trap. We know Jesus coming back. This ain't Christian rap. Yeah. This ain't Christian rap. This is something more original. This ain't Christian rap. Just because my rhyme is biblical. Been sent on a mission just like one of the apostles. Put me in a box just because I preach the gospel. Just because Bats. my words are sounding something. Like a prophet, we do it for God. We ain't worried about a prophet. <laughs> if you was inspired by this, I just say amen. It's the last supper, everybody out here table hopping. This is holy music. Don't be trying to put a label on it. I'm my brother's keeper, never going Cain and Abel on them. VIP in heaven. I ain't trying to get famous off this drip. Feel that holy water. It's a battle and I'm ready for that holy war yeah. Can't divide us, there's no lane Christian rappers sounding lame No, they mad cause we do it in Jesus' name Yeah, they wanna call this Christian rap Cause I'm only spitting facts Gave my life to the Lord I know Satan want it back This ain't Christian rap But it's holy to the max Freedom from the Very catchy, man. We know Jesus coming back I This ain't Christian rap This ain't Christian rap. Mm. <laughs> All right, Nick, I see you. You'll forget it. I enjoy. I, I really do like the fact that this man is not afraid to express social commentary, whether it is political, whether it is religious, whether it is something that may be touchy-touchy to your heart, to your veins, to whatever. You know you're going to feel something. You know you're going to receive something. You know you're going to rather you come to this music and say, oh, I love it, oh, I hate it. At the end of the day, music is music, bro. You know, and people are going to enjoy it however they see fit, however they depend on it, however they listen to it back, put it on a playlist, or it's your Spotify, your Apple Music, your Pandora, Google Play. Well, Google Play has been erased. <laughs> they took that away. They took that off my podcast for one. So that's that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that's real. Christian rap. I believe the, the, the song is about taking away the box, the, the label of where you're doing, you know what I'm saying? This beat um, could be like a Christian rap beat. It could be like, you know, used for like artists that do Christian hip hop, Christian rap. The only reason why I say Christian hip hop is because it's representing God, representing Jesus, and you're reflecting them throughout your music at the end of the day. It's not so much about, you know, not, you, you can't be able to, it's not that you can't be you. No, still be you. You know what I'm saying? Like when people ask me the question, Josiah, like, are you a Christian rapper? Are you a Christian hip hop artist? I say, or are you just a rapper that is a Christian? And I go, I'm both, right? I don't think there's nothing wrong with the label, but the thing about me, that here's what I figured out, and, and it's just a little secret for me, and I'm not gonna tell nobody my secret, but I know the ins and outs, and I know how to monitor that label to where you don't put me under the box. If you catch my drift. And you'll see when I come out with music, you'll come you'll see when I come out with certain content that may not necessarily be Christian, right? And it may not necessarily be about God or Jesus. And that's, and that's not me saying that to oh be dishonorable and, and and discontinue my relationship or my reflection of that particular genre in music. That's not me saying that at all. No, 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 no. I'm not saying her saying that I won't have any more records where I'm gonna praise God or am I gonna praise Jesus or I won't talk about the Bible or a particular 
a verse or a chapter that I've read from the Bible to, to where I won't implement that part in my music. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm going to always keep God at the, the top. You know what I'm saying? He will always be my foundation for why I'm doing what I'm doing, including this here channel as a content creator that I am. Okay? Not the creator, a content creator. Difference. <laughs> but yes, I get what Nick Matoli is saying. I get what he's meaning with this record. And for that, I didn't like it just that even more. I really do like the song. It's, it's, it's good. It's catchy. Tuneful. I always say it. Tuneful. If I weigh 99 pounds and eat a pound of nachos, am I 1% nacho? What? If you drop soap on the floor, is the floor clean or is the soap dirty? Dude, what are you talking about? Bruh, which orange came first? The color or the fruit? Huh? Oh wait, you got a point there. If two vegans are arguing, is it still considered beef? Was there something in that apple juice you drank? If you were born deaf, what language would you think in? Ugh. If you get out of the shower clean, how does your towel get dirty? Mm-hmm. If Apple made a car, would it still have windows? All right, uh, I'm going to bed before I get a contact high from listening to you. Here are my final thoughts. I dig this record. I like it. I like the beat. I like the hook is catchy. Um, I like that you have given your life over to Christ. If that is a serious thing and you're not just promoting it to be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. I love that you have followed God and have followed Jesus and you and that you are believing and that you gave your life to them. As a, I want to say you're a born again Christian. If that's the case, man, awesome, bro. You know what I'm saying? Praise, praise God for that. You know what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Glory be to God that you are now a brother, you know, for me. You are a brother in Christ and, and me and you are family. We've always been family. We've always been intertwined some here, somewhere through music, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm, I'm glad to see your maturity. I'm glad to see your growth, man. Uh, it's, it's crazy. It was not that long ago. It was like, what, 2018, 2019? When I first started doing YouTube and you was one of the most consistent artists that I would react to for the most part. And you know, there are some reactions where I was like, okay, I love this and then I hate this. Well, I want to say I hate your music. I never said I hated you. I always said like, I, I would like to see you improve and do better. Um, I made the conscious decision early on in my YouTube channel, career field, whatever, that I was not going to be a, a very deconstructive person and a very hateful, spiteful content creator to where I would have told you, oh, your music is trash, it's garbage. Uh, you should take this away and stop doing music forever and why are you still doing music like everything that you put out was just bad and awful and it's, it's just garbage or whatever like that right I said myself and I said it to myself that's so easy like people think oh but like, well, you're just not being honest you don't you don't go on your channel and just criticize your artists and things like that it's for a reason because I'm a positive piece <laughs> not a negative Nancy and I feel like sometimes having to nitpick every single thing, is, there's one thing about being honest, there's another thing about being brutally honest. And I can be brutally honest too. I will, I'll keep it real. If I have to go down, I will do that. But not to the extent of where you, you look at me and go, oh my gosh, you're a hater. You're, and you're just trying to put this artist down and, and tell him that he's beneath you. Never to that effect, because I don't have an ego. I'm a very humble guy. I'm, I'm I, like, as much as that may surprise some people sometimes, I'm very, very humble. Um, maybe I'm not, I don't know if it does really surprise, but anyways, you, you get my point, right? I think that Tully is a dope artist and I like to see this guy shine and do his thing. And if what you are saying is true about you following God, you know, loving Jesus, awesome, bro. Heck yeah, man, that's fantastic. Keep going. Keep doing your music, of course, right? Try to keep it less explicit. <laughs> That's all I ask for. But then again, I don't know. I can't tell you what to do. It's your life. You're a grown man. Um, you're definitely older than me. You've been in the business for a long time. I'm, I'm still, you know, getting my foot in there somehow. So, yeah, man. Good song. I like it. Like the production. And it's catchy lyrics as far as the hook. More power to you. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, please request for more songs by Nick Natoli 
or RSS, they are very similar. Ladies and gentlemen, please do me a quick favor and that is to like, comment, subscribe, and views. Put your minds out there. The link to the song will be down in my description below. This was Linda Tully's Christian Rap, the official music video produced by him, of course. Dope record, love the message. Cannot wait for more to do in the near, not so distant future. If you guys would like to, feel free to donate a super thanks to help support this channel as I would like to return the favor somehow, some way this year in 2024. Follow me on my social media from Facebook to Instagram to Twitter where I will try my hardest to remain consistently active, giving you guys old reactions, new reactions, while I try my best to stay up to date. King Life, we are out.